You're listening to Quirpline here on QWRPFM. Quirpline this week is brought to you by Joss Ross's Boss Moss Floss. Delicious candy floss made from all natural sphagnum moss. It's Joss Ross's Boss Moss Floss. Try it with sauce. Hello and good morning, Innsberg. Big G Money here with A Train. How's it going, A Train? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing fantastic. And hopefully, everyone out there is having a wonderful time in scenic Innsberg, home of the tigers. One of my favorite aquatic mammals. Fun fact Home of the Tigers is one of the many tourism slogans used by the Innsberg Tourism Board. It was first introduced in 1965 when the tigers were unveiled at the Innsberg Municipal Zoo. And even though the Tigers were returned to their owner in 1997, they still use that slogan to this day. It's like they always say, a tiger never forgets. <laughs> Thanks again to our sponsor for this week, Joss Ross's Boss Moss Floss. That sounds like some good stuff. If I had a wife, she'd love it. Not sure what you mean by that, Alex. It's the top of the hour, though, so let's go over to Sadie Casperson for weather. <laughs> good morning, Sadie. How's it going? Oh, it's going great, Graham. Good to hear. What do we got going on out there in Innsberg today? Well, as we know, summer is just around the corner, and that means it's going to be a beautiful seven days of sunshine and extreme humidity. The humidity index is about 98% now, and God willing, it'll stay there. 98% humidity. That's that's almost rain. Well, lucky for me, I like to start my summer by sweating like a ham. Well, Alex, you'll be happier than a pig in a sauna because it's going to be almost like rain, but without any of the helpful refreshment. That's actually a great segue to one of our other sponsors this week, Jack Plank's Sauna Smoked Pork. Sauna Smoked Pork, it melts on your fork. Sorry, Sadie, you were saying. Well, we're looking at the seven-day forecast, and today it is beautiful, sunny, and humid. Uh, tomorrow it will be beautiful, sunny, and humid, moving into the midweek where we'll have beautiful, sunny, and humid with a little bit of relief on Thursday, where it will be not quite as sunny, but still very humid. Uh, the weekend coming up looks fantastic, though. People are really going to enjoy that when they're outside. Uh, 98% humidity and sunshine. I note with curiosity, you didn't mention Friday. Right? Oh, uh, that's because Friday is canceled. Oh, that's my poker night. Not anymore. Before we let you go, Sadie, 98% humidity, that is way up there on the swampometer. If there's any Innsbergians that dare go outdoors, what should they do to try and beat the heat? Well, as you know, summer is a beautiful time, but it's also the time that various swamp-related skin conditions are most common. We're talking about swamp arm, swamp leg, the dreaded swamp ass. I mean, like... Your cousin had swamp leg once, didn't he, Alex? I don't like talking about it. I do want to take a moment here to remind all our Innsberg listeners that if you do contract any swamp-related skin disease, even if it's something minor like swamp lip, you can go to the Municipal Health Department and apply for free rash cream. It's a great time to mention one of our other community sponsors, Raymond's Talc Barn. They sell a lot of dry goods. Raymond's Talc Barn, just off Highway 3, past the farm with the weird-looking cow. Well, thanks for the weather, Sadie. We'll make sure to keep an eye out for rashes. Speaking of Highway 3, drivers are going to want to watch out for our first news item. All the potholes have gone missing. So if you're going between Burbisher Drive and Crescent Crescent, watch out. You're not wrong, Alex. My drive into work this morning was uncomfortably smooth. For more on this story, we've sent our summer intern Derek down to Highway 3. How's it going down there, Derek? Huh? De- Derek, how's... What? Uh, Derek. Hi, hi what? De- hi. Hi. This is Graham from, from Corpline. Oh! Right, I'm live, aren't I? Yes, you are. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, um... This is our best intern yet. Right. I'm standing outside Burbisher Drive, um, and I can see about 30 feet down the road from where I am right now. Um, it is it is completely glassy smooth on the road surface. Uh, I have walked up and down it looking to see if there were any potholes left. I haven't seen a single one. Why can you only see 30 feet in front of you? It's really, really muggy outside, and... I'm like, I'm, there's sweat running into my eyes. Um, I'm going to need some sort of like headband or maybe have some powder. Derek, it sounds like you've got a case of uh, swamp eye. Oh no! You're real close to the talc barn, Derek. Does anyone around there have any idea how these potholes could have gone missing? Did anybody see anything? Uh, well, the thing is, is nobody comes outside much anymore on Highway 3 ever since they blew up the sidewalks. Oh, I remember that. Oh, the smell. I asked the local constable for some assistance um and uh, and he was he was pleased to interview with me 
Uh, I've got it here on this tape recorder. Can I just play it into my into my telephone? Christ, if that's the best we got, all right. Okay, hold on. Um, Officer Steve? Is, is that on? Yeah, no, we're talking right now. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this back later through my phone. I don't think they're going to mind at all. No. no. Okay. So, uh, uh, Officer, your name is Officer Steve? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. I am Steve. Officer Steve. Um, Officer Steve, did you happen to see what happened to all the potholes? I have no idea what happened to the potholes, but we are on the case. Oh, well, that's a relief. These potholes have been of extreme historic significance to Innsburg, and without them, our tourist dollars will just go completely to the pot. Oh, I know. I mean, when, when I first moved here with my parents, they put me in, uh, in Burke Scouts, and we used to come down to the street, and we'd watch wheels fly off cars, and we'd have to do a count, and then we would go get our pothole badge. As, as, as is a fine Innsbergian tradition. Why, these potholes have even been dedicated. Celebrities will come and get their key to the pothole from Innsberg. Yeah, I even saw the mayor, like, dedicate... Wait, hang on, I dropped the tape recorder. Take your time. Such a good intern. Okay, I found it. Okay, hang on, it's, it stopped. I'm gonna play it again. We encourage... Any and all Innsbergian citizens to report any new or old holes directly to the police for this ongoing investigation. Well, great. Thank you, Officer Steve. That's That'll be really helpful to get all of our potholes back. Okay, so we're done now. So now, y- if you want, we can just hit stop, um, or we can, like, do some B-roll. Okay. Um, I mean, do you want uh, do you want to go get, like, a coffee or something? We can talk about this? Right, yes. Okay, okay. That's, that's good. Do you like donuts? Love the donuts. Okay, we should get some donuts. Derek. Do you, do you have the ones Derek. with the bacon? Or the, right, Der- yeah, the Derek. Down the street, can you hear? Bakery, Der- Earl's bakery. Stop, so Derek. Saying, stop the tape. Can, I don't think he can hear us. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, Der- Derek, where you, you can turn it off now. Do you not want... I was out here for an hour. Do you have a look at this rash I've got? It's quite humid out He's right now. He's still here with me. We could do an interview again. Wait, Officer Steve is still there? Yeah. Why did you pre... I don't... You know what? I don't care. Could you put Officer Steve on the phone for a second? Yeah, okay. He, he wants to talk to you. Hello? To clarify, for our listeners, you want anyone with any information about new or old holes to contact the police. Who is this? Just a couple of concerned citizens. Do you have a number that uh, we can call? Some sort of specialty line? Give me your badge number. Officer Steve, we're going to have to let you go. Impersonating the police is a serious offense. Why, if I wasn't so busy investigating these holes, I would have... Thank you, Officer Steve. Utmost respect for the law. Oh, would you look at the time? Coming up next, we've got Edith Slump with the arts. Talking about the new movies this week. What you got for us, Edith? Why did I do that with an accent? (laughs) What you got for us, Edith? Hey, Grandma Alex. Thrilled to be here, finally making a career out of my love of the arts. We got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of movies opening at the local Megaplex. Of course, we've got Paul Blart Two Mall Guy, which is finally opening here a couple weeks after wide release to um, popular demand. Uh, we have. It's important to remember that Innsbruck is a C market, but it's a high C. It's definitely a C plus. Well, it's higher than my GPA in high school, and I got this job. I do want to clarify my last statement that, of course, as you know, we are not anywhere close to the C. It's more of a figurative C. That's true, Edith. Innsbruck has been landlocked since the 1870s. Um, Also opening Furious 7, Avengers, Age of Voltron, and something called Get Hard, which I'm not sure should be in a family theater, but who am I to judge? But more importantly, we have a beautiful local feature opening this week called Jack in It. Jack in It is about the somewhat ironically named Sandra Hammer, America's first female jackhammer operator. It's a feel-good movie. I spent four winters doing road work. I know what she's talking about. As a former road worker yourself then, Alex, do you think people should get excited for Jack in It? Oh, I predict that people are going to be all about Jack in It, especially the kids. And you said, Edith, that this was a local film. That's correct. Produced right here in Innsburg. Several members of the Innsberg players are main characters in this movie. You may recognize them from various community nativity scenes and that high school play. Was this last year's play, the 2014 season? I don't know. I didn't read all their Wikipedia pages. Well, I'm asking because I don't know much about Jack in it, but that musical was amazing. And if any of them are involved in this movie, I want to see it. Oh, I agree. And uh, while we have you, anything coming up in the arts this week, Edith? No. Art just canceled forever, huh? Please don't take me so literally, Alex. <laughs> Thanks, Edith. It's uh, it's a real pleasure, as always. Well, it's a quarter past the hour, and that means it's time to check in with Richter Hammock Slam and the QWRP Traffic Co-opter. How's it going up there, Richter? Well, Graham, 
traffic is amazingly smooth up here on Highway 3. It's like a piece of glass from here to the next county. We should have done this years ago. That's not really an okay thing to say, Richter. That's a heritage site you're talking about that's being irreparably desecrated. Alex, you won't find anyone who's more of a big supporter of holes than me. I came out of a hole. My pappy came out of a hole. Every person in my family came from a hole. And yet, the results from the sky speak for themselves. Imagine, if you will, traffic, a gullet stuffed full of a spicy Indian meal, and now the results of which spewing forth across the morning rush. I'm going to have to cut you off there, Richter, as I am no longer hungry and not sure I ever will be again. Well, to take us up to the break, we've got Ball Hinkley on the line, a local entrepreneur, to talk to us about his uh, perfume business. Yeah, that's right. Glad to be here, Graham and Alex. Thanks for joining us, Ball, uh, if I can call you that. Oh, that's my first name. That's what my parents named me. I keep having to prove it in court. Don't need to know about it. What kind of products you got uh, for us today? I'm making my own organic perfume. Out of what? I'm making it out of things I find on the ground and in my backyard. Here, take a whip of this. Uh, reminding you, sir, that you're on the line and not in the studio. Ball, could you please stop rubbing things on your phone? It is creating noise. Oh, right. Sorry, no. I got one of them new iPhones. I thought they could do everything. So you make this organic perfume from things you find in your backyard, you said? That's right. What part of town do you live in? I live in Sump Acres. East or West? I live in East Sump Acres, but I still pay the same property tax as everybody else. You poor bastard. Describe some of your perfumes, please, Ball. All right, this one here, it smells like vanilla muskrat. This one, oh, it smells like a cap gun. What? If I can rewind for a sec there, Ball, uh, what what is vanilla muskrat? It's sensual vanilla mixed with sensual muskrat. I don't know what we expected for an answer. It's more sensual than I was expecting. He uses the Flavia coochie. Excuse me? It's what I've been making it for. It's all sorts of women's out there that need help with their coochie. Ball, I think we need to stop talking to you. I got lots of sense for the coochie. Hang on a second. I'm going to go through my box. Ball. All right. I've got wet wool. I've got Ball. Ball. dust finger. I've got mixed up ladder. Ball. Ball. I've got Mr. Hinkley. The, the, and the I've got stuck. Ray Romano. What is Ray Romano? He's a comedian. He had that sitcom. What yeah. does it smell like? I don't know. I've never met him. I wasn't talking. You know, forget it. it smells like the best coochie you ever put your nose in. Of course it does. And goodbye, Ball Hinkley. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Quirpline, always a fan of supporting local businesses. When we come back, the local Girl Scouts have come up with a unique fundraising initiative. They've got guns. And the mayor's office is pleased to announce the last of the raccoons have finally been pulled out of the communal pool just in time for the summer season, and we'll be sending intern Derek down there to get a final raccoon count. Here's hoping we break last year's record. No kidding, I got 405 in the pool. It was you? No, the office pool. We have a pool? We sure don't, Alex. Uh, Everyone else, please stay tuned for more Quirp Line coming back after this short break. Thanks again to our sponsor, Joss Ross's Boss Moss Floss. Delicious candy floss made from all natural sphagnum moss. It's Joss Ross's Boss Moss Floss. If you liked it with sauce, try it without. 